The Basil Family Dealerships, so much more than just great deals. Good morning, everybody. Courtney and I are with you here live in beautiful Lancaster. We've got a gorgeous day. It's a great Friday. Today, they're going to begin their Taste of Lancaster, their Arts in the Village, and so much more. Courtney, we have a great half hour for everybody. We do, and we are on the road again. We love exploring neighborhoods here in western New York, and we have a lot in store for you within the next half hour. Yeah, you had a chance to head into the Lancaster Opera House. So much tradition there. Oh, yeah. Talk about the stage. We love being on <laughs> stage, Linda. That's no, we where do. we grew up. But there really is a lot happening there. The arts, the entertainment, and if you're a theater goer or not, it's still a fun place to visit. That's right. They already have some of the streets closed off here downtown because tonight, right around 5 o'clock, they begin the Taste of Lancaster and their wonderful uh, annual summer. Oh, I love the bells are going off at the right time. They're going to have their arts uh, uh, extravaganza as well, and that's going to be going on. And there's just a lot to talk about. Plus, we're even going to be talking about a pet rescue where you have a and chance to see some great little puppies. Until you see these little furry right? friends that we just made before the show. Taste of Lancaster, Linda. Mm, I know, I know. Sounds pretty good right pretty about nice. now. I wonder what they're going to have to eat. I don't know. Maybe they'll have something out before we're done at 1030, huh? Let's hope. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Listen, we also want to congratulate the Bills. Yeah, we know they lost last night, but on no court, it was a great game, and Josh Allen, McCarron, and Peterman all did well as quarterbacks, so there was a lot to be proud of. There absolutely is, and same with the neighborhoods and communities here in Western New York. We have to be proud of where we live here in the 716, and being in Lancaster is super exciting today. Everybody here is wearing Bills hats, so Oh, yeah, we're representing. It's Bills country. Yeah, and we're wearing some Bills colors. We are. We definitely are, and what? so what do you say, with the weekend coming up, we have a look at the 7 First Alert forecast. Sounds good to me. All right, it is really terrific. We have a green light for pretty much anything you want to do from now through the weekend. And temperatures a little milder than what they have been. We're not going to worry about temperatures and the humidity that's very high. As a matter of fact, for the next couple of days, we're just going to be kind of grazing 80. We'll hit 80 today. Tomorrow, high of 83, so it's going to be perfect whether you're here in Lancaster or anywhere here in Western New York. Sunday is going to be 81 and sunny. Uh, the little bump in the road comes on Monday. We have some scattered thunder showers, which may last through Tuesday. But, you know, Court, all in all, it's better to have them on Monday and Tuesday, yeah, right? Yeah, because then we can enjoy the weekend exactly. here in Lancaster. It'll be perfect. Not too hot, not too cool, just in the middle. Yeah. Perfect. That's right. And, of course, we're sending pictures to you all the time, so make sure you're joining us on social media. Yes, Facebook and Twitter. Follow us at AM Buffalo. We will keep you up to date on what's happening here in Western New York. Linda and I are always posting fun pictures and videos to give you a little sneak peek of what to expect in the show. Now, today, if you're checking out my Twitter, uh, you may recognize some familiar faces <laughs> in the Lancaster Opera House Hall of Fame, Linda. I know, I know. I was, I was so surprised when I came back and saw what you put in your story for the Lancaster yeah, Opera House. We won't ruin the surprise. No, we won't. No, 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 We're no. We're going to wait a couple of minutes. <laughs> All right, that sounds excellent, Court. Okay. All right, we are here on Central Avenue, kind of the main street here, where, again, it's been cordoned off already because they're getting ready for tonight. But there's also a lot of revitalization. So when we start talking about the village of Lancaster, we probably should be talking to the mayor. Absolutely. And we'll be talking about folks who are really in the know about what's happening. So, folks, without further ado, come on in. Linda, I'll catch up with you later. All right, Court, we'll see you in just a bit. Come on in. We have Dawn Grajewski, who's with us, and I'm going to get between you, and Mayor William Schroeder. Nice to have you here, and thanks for having us this morning. Well, thank you, Linda. It's always a pleasure uh, to see you and uh, to be on uh, Channel 7. And, uh, and uh, say hi to all the people out there who uh, watch your show. Well, we are just here honoring all the work that you do all year round to make this such a great community to live in. Let's first talk about this revitalization that's also happening here in Lancaster. Well, we're making up for the sins of the 70s, as <laughs> I call it. Uh, when urban renewal came through, um, there was a building put in there that was commonly known as the Big H, and it was the precursor to Walmart. And oh. you could get anything you needed there. You could get tires and clothes and food and everything else. And everybody thought this was just great. And unfortunately, a year after Big H came in, they went bankrupt. Oh. And the building sat. Mm -hmm. And the building was rented out to Erie One Bosis for several years, and then they moved out, and it sat. And back in around 19... 93, the Community Development Corporation was formed with the sole intention of buying that building, running it out, and then once it was paid for, we would be able to demolish the building and open it up for development. Mm -hmm. And that didn't happen yet. And uh, it took several years and uh, a lot of hard work, mm -hmm. but uh, we were able to get the building demolished, and we are on the cusp within the next few weeks of closing a deal, and that property is going to be sold and redeveloped, and we're going to Great. have 
several buildings with retail space on the first floor and apartments on the second and thirds. And I think it's going to be fantastic. That is going to be wonderful. And yet we still have the beauty of uh, the Lancaster everybody loves. The New York store is still here. We've got Lancaster Opera House. We've got beautiful uh, brick sidewalks for people to come out and enjoy and walk around and still enjoy uh, the, the loveliness of this village. Uh, we do have a lovely village, Linda, and thank you so much. You should see it at Christmas time. We hope people will come we're in. Gonna mm -hmm. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about that with the Queen of Christmas. <laughs> and uh, uh, But the villages work very hard with an awful lot of agencies. We have some people on our village board that are just wonderful. They mm -hmm. work with grants. We've been able to get funding for facade work for our, our business owners and work with them. And it's it's certainly not one person. Mm -hmm. It's it's a collaborative effort between a whole lot of people. And in the end result, we, we get some of the results that you see right here now. And probably our newest addition is the Gilded Maple. I love that. And uh, if you'd have seen that six months ago, you would have looked and said, you know, I, I don't understand what's going on there. But uh, they've done a tremendous job with that and uh, several of the other buildings here. So All it's right. on the upswing and we love it. Well, we love it too. Thank you, Mayor Schroeder. And you know, this lady here, as uh, the mayor was alluding to, is really been the person behind a lot of things that you enjoy here in Williams, uh, I'm sorry, in uh, Lancaster. So Dawn, you're gonna, can you stay with me for a few more minutes so we can talk about Christmas and all the other wonderful Certainly. things that you, thank you. you have a, a hand in? Yes, thank you all very right, much. This is Dawn Kraczewski. You stay with us, everybody. We're coming back to you from Lancaster, so stay with us. Linda's Hairstyles, courtesy of our salon. Make our salon your salon. Transit Road, Williamsville. AM Buffalo Furnishings, provided by Bassett Furniture. Visit their showroom online at BassettFurniture.com. Well, this morning, everybody, uh, parts of Eyewitness News for sure, and definitely AM Buffalo, we are in Lancaster, known as a walkable community. We've just spoken with Mayor Schroeder, who's telling us about all the wonderful things that are happening here, and Dawn Grzeski, who is with us. And Dawn, let's first talk about what's happening starting tonight, and that is a taste of Lancaster. Yes, thank you, Linda. Yeah, right now, actually, as we stand here, uh, the vendors for the Taste of Lancaster are, are going to be loading in. Uh, we have uh, 30 vendors here for the Taste of Lancaster today. Uh, we have bands on stage, including uh, a Carnival Kids Steel Drum Orchestra. That should be and great. Channel 7 News is joining That's us right. today, too, from and their 5 and 6 o'clock broadcast cast um, for that. Uh, we're very happy to have you. Thank you. And uh, after the Carnival Kids Steel Drum Orchestra, we have Back to the Bars on stage. Okay. Um, That's a lot going on. It is, just for tonight. Right. And that, that goes 5 to 11. Now, tomorrow, we expand the events a little bit more. We go all the way up Central Avenue. it's Atlanta. 11 to 11, I think. It then, is. Right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow morning, uh, from 11 to 11, we expand the uh, footprint and we bring in Arts in the Village. And we have close to 100 artisans this year. Wonderful, wonderful and artisans. you know what? You're an artist yourself, so you know a little bit about this and the quality that comes with a, a show and an extravaganza like that. I'm very excited mm -hmm. as to the, all the eclectic offerings that are coming in. I mean, it, not just all jewelry. It's mm -hmm. ceramics and, and paintings, and it's just beautiful things. So it's like, it's like the Lancaster version of Allentown. Yes, yeah. kind of. Right? Yeah, a little downsized. And the weather is going to be beautiful. That's okay. I don't think people will mind that. <laughs> and the, the mayor was saying that that is really just the beginning of what you offer all year round. I do. I, as the village events coordinator, uh, the village is, is kind enough uh, to offer an entire year-round event series. I mean, it starts with um, our Spring Euro Market in May, our car show in June, our July 4th Festival, which is the second largest in New York State um, in July, uh, the Taste and, and Arts again in August. We come back with a fall uh, Euro Market again uh, mm -hmm. in September, and in October we have our famous Zombieville. <laughs> um, and then our infamous uh, Christmasville uh, it starts uh, the weekend after uh Thanksgiving. I, I have for years uh, designed and decorated all of these windows with the beautiful laminates displays that the village purchased. Yeah. Um, that brings back a little bit of nostalgia to us all uh, where we used to go down to Aminase and, and look at the windows. Now so. you just stay here in Lancaster and, and enjoy it all. Yes. You've both done an awesome job and as you say you pride yourself in this being a walkable community and that's why so many people love living in Lancaster. All right listen when we come back uh, they love the entertainment that's here too due to places like the Lancaster Opera House. So Courtney's going to show you what that's all about when we come back. So stay with us as AM Buffalo is live from Lancaster.